gently on the lap. Lift your spine tall. Draw your shoulder blades back and down away from your ears. Either finding a gentle gaze on the ground or maybe even closing down the eyes. And just taking a moment to become settled here. Continuing to lift through the spine, keeping the upper back engaged. Softening the hips and legs down. Just starting to mindfully soften the muscles in the face. Arms. Hands. Upper part of the chest. And the belly. And just start to notice the quality of your breath as it comes in and out. And start to soften the belly once again on your inhale, expanding the belly like a balloon. Or exhale, drawing your belly button in towards the spine. Take a full breath in, expand the belly. Exhale to contract. And as you inhale, imagining the lungs filling up the space of the rib cage, the front, sides, and back. Continuing this breath in and out. to introduce your ujjayi breath here, bringing the constriction on the back of your throat as you exhale. And recreating that same leg constriction as you inhale. And going inside the body once again, noticing any tension that may have arisen in the body. Imagine taking a fresh breath in. Your exhale softening those muscles. Just allowing your breath to naturally go in and out. Notice the rhythm of your breath. as the mind can be busy with thoughts. Recognize anything that comes through and redirect your thoughts to the count of your breath. Remember to use this technique throughout the whole class, keeping yourself present and allowing yourself to just enjoy your practice. One more deep breath with the eyes closed. The next breath, you can keep them closed or open them as you reach the arms out to the sides of the body up to the sky and bring the palms to touch at the top. So you exhale, flip your palms down, sweep the arms to the sides. Inhale, sweep your arms out and up, really lengthen through the sides of the body. Exhale, float the arms down to the sides. One more deep breath in, reaching out and up. Exhale, floating the arms down. Take an inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, cactus bend the elbows and just open up through the heart space. Inhale, reach your fingertips up. Exhale to bend the elbows. Inhale, lengthening up the fingertips. Exhale, engaging the upper back. Inhale, reach your fingertips up. Exhale. 
Exhale to bend the right elbow and bring your hand right between the shoulder blades. Option for left hand to come to the right elbow, draw the shoulder blades together. Or option to take the left arm behind the back, interlace your hands, connecting the fingertips together. You can use the strap between the hands if the hands don't quite connect. And working on engaging the back muscles, the shoulders. Inhale, sweep both arms back up. Exhale, bend the left elbow, hand right between the shoulder blades, right hand to the left elbow. Again, drawing the shoulder blades towards one another, feeling that space in the heart opening up. Keep your jaw soft. And option if you like to take the other variation, hands clasp behind the back. Softening the belly. Take an inhale to sweep both arms back up. Exhale to release left hand down to the mat right next to you. Bend into the left elbow as you lengthen through the right side of the body. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, keep that left elbow bent and stretch the right fingertips over towards the left. And look down at your left thumb. Straight ahead. Or maybe up towards the ceiling if that feels okay in the neck. Keep both sit bones grounded into the mat. Creating that space in the right side of the body. Inhale, come all the way up. Place your right hand down. Sweep the left arm up nice and tall. Bend the right elbow. And as you exhale, sweep the left arm over towards the right. Uh, find your gaze here, either down at the right thumb, forward, or up towards the ceiling. And take an inhale, come all the way back up. Interlace hands behind your back. Taking a few deep breaths here as you expand through the chest center. Keeping the jaw soft. And then bend the elbows and bring the knuckles over towards the right hip here. And we're going to gently draw the left ear over to the left shoulder. You can stay right here, or if that feels good, you can start to draw your gaze down towards the top of the left shoulder. And take another deep breath here. As you inhale, come all the way to neutral neck. Bring both arms back behind you, and then bend the elbows, bringing your knuckles over to the left hip bone, guiding the right ear over to the right shoulder. And an option here to turn the gaze slightly down or more towards the top of the right shoulder. One more deep breath here. And inhale, slowly draw the neck back to neutral. Extend both arms back behind you. Take a full breath in. Deep breath out. And as you inhale, open your arms out. Exhale, give yourself a big hug, bringing the right arm on top of the left. Hands can come to the backs of the shoulders. Or if you like, eagle arms, the palms together to touch and bring the chin in slightly. And 
Take an inhale, open the arms out wide. Exhale, big hug, left arm on top of the right. Hands at the upper back or palms in together to touch. Bringing the chin in slightly. Starting to soften the back of the neck. One more deep breath in. So exhale, gently unwind, bring hands to the lap for seated cat cow. As you take an inhale, start to lift the chin up, draw the shoulder blades back and feel that expansion in the chest. As you exhale, draw chin to chest and see if you can create the C curve with your spine. Inhale, draw the collarbones forward, shoulder blades back. And exhale, curling them up. See if you can really exaggerate this stretch as you inhale at the upper part of the back, concentrating on the upper shoulders. As you exhale, rounding the spine. One more time, inhale. Inhale, sitting up nice and tall. Spinal twist as your left hand comes to the right knee. Right hand walks behind. Lift up nice and tall on your inhale. As you exhale, moving through the core of the body, maybe you look towards the right shoulder or a little beyond. Sending this movement from the trunk of the body versus the neck. Take another inhale. You exhale, unwind, bringing the right hand to your left knee. Left hand walks behind. Lifting up nice and tall. Inhale. Exhale, spinal twist. Gazing towards the left. One more deep breath in. Exhale to unwind. We're going to come into tabletop position. Bring the blanket off to the side. Just a little bit more spinal work here. So bringing the hands shoulder distance apart. Knees are hip width apart. Tuck your back toes. So we're really concentrating on the upper portion of the back in our seated cat cow. So now we can get more into the lumbar portion. So just an inhale for cow. Let the belly soften down, drawing the shoulder blades back. As you exhale, curling around the spine, drawing the core in. Inhale, soften the belly down, bringing the gaze forward, maybe slightly up. Exhale as you draw the gaze in towards the belly. Inhale, lower belly down. Exhale, curl it down. And then coming all the way back to the neutral. Start to walk the knees back slightly. And we're going to bend the elbows and slowly lower all the way down to the belly. Have your block in front of you in case you need that for your forehead. And we're just going to take a few moments for crocodile pose. One hand on top of the other, forehead on the hands, and just take a few deep breaths here. See here, we can roll the inner thighs in towards one another. And Press the toenails all the way down to the ground. So the slowly active stretch in the back. We're going to take one more full breath. Into 
pose. So bring your hands out in front of you, shoulder width apart. And then lengthen on an inhale. Start to lift the heart off of the mat. But imagine that you're lengthening the spine long and up. So we're not just coming into a back bend without taking length in the body. So we don't want to feel any compression in the spine. But imagine lifting up out of it. If you need to walk the elbows in a little bit closer towards the rib cage, plant the palms down here, keeping the inner thighs active towards one another, pressing the ten pony nails down. a little bit of a different stretch here. We're going to take the block, making sure that's where our forehead would be, and slide the left arm out, and then crossing the right arm on top, and see if you can work the fingertips in opposite directions. So you're coming into kind of a knot with the arm. And then you're just going to rest your forehead gently down onto the block. And feeling this really deeply in the back and shoulders. Take one more full breath here. And to come out, you're just going to slide the elbows, staying onto the elbows. They're still bent. And we're going to switch the arms. So you're going to take the opposite arm underneath and just slide that through. And just sliding the top arm. And just giving yourself this really big hug, essentially, with the arms flat on the ground versus on the upper back. Forehead rests down. Continue to press the toenails into the ground. One more full breath. We'll gently come out the way we went in, so bending the elbows and just making sure that you're supported. They're right underneath you. And then coming back into that Sphinx pose for just a breath. So hands out in front of you, lengthen the spine. See if you're a little bit stronger in the upper back. Take another deep breath here. We're going to come into tabletop position. So bring your hands right underneath your shoulders. Come up onto the knees. Tabletop position. And it may feel good to take a little bit of movement to get out of that stretch. So maybe swing the hips from side to side. Maybe you'd prefer to take cat-cow again. And we'll take one more full breath. Back into neutral, tuck your toes, lift the knees, coming into our downward facing dog. Start off with a deep bend here, and maybe walking the toes in a little closer. And see if you can come into that V position. So you're feeling this length in the sides of the body and the spine as the tailbone lifts up, and the fronts of the hip bones will contract a little closer to the tops of the thigh bones. From here, if that feels good, you can pedal out the feet, draw one heel down to the ground as you bend the opposite knee, slowly from side to side, keeping that lift of the tailbone up, and feeling the sits bones rotating back and up. And we'll take one more full breath. Bend, lift the top of the mat and step your feet just behind your ribs. Coming into a forward fold, maybe just 
take a moment here to fold over the legs. Or if you like the variation with hands on opposite elbows, just giving the hips a little sway side to side. However that feels for you. Slowly come back to neutral. Place the block the outside of the left foot. Bend your left knee and keep your left hand on the block. So the block has three levels. You may have it flat on its side or tall. Keeping the knee bent, hand on the block, start to straighten the right leg and reach the right fingertips up to the sky. If that's a little too intense on the right hamstring, keep the right knee bent. It's really lifting up, keeping the back engaged, drawing that shoulder blade back. Take one more inhale. Bend both knees and exhale, fingertips down. Switch your block over to the outside of the right foot. Again, you can take any adjustment with the height of the block. Keep the right knee bent. Sweep the left arm up to the sky as you straighten the left leg. Even if that's a little too much on the outside of the left thigh or hamstring, keep that knee a bend. Take another inhale. Exhale, bend both knees, coming into your forward fold. You can just place the block at the top of the mat. Keep the knees bent as you inhale, roll all the way to stand. Nice and slowly, taking a moment to stack the head right over the shoulders, spine right on top of each other. Inhale, sweep your arms out and up. Well, exhale, just take a slight lateral side stretch over to the right. So lifting both sides of the body, keep the feet planted, feet are hip distance apart. Inhale, come back to neutral. Exhale, over towards the left. Inhale, come back to neutral. Placing the left hand down to the outside of the left thigh, take an inhale, reach through the right arm. And exhale, just taking, sliding that left hand down and reaching the right fingertips over. Inhale, come up with both arms. Exhale, right hand to the thigh, lift up tall through the left. Exhale over towards the right. So sliding that right hand down, reaching the fingertips over. Good. Inhale, reach both arms up. And exhale, hands to the heart center. We're going to come into a chair pose. So if you like having the feet hip distance apart, or you can take the toes together to touch. Sit back in your chair, sweep your arms forward and up, engage the back muscles, take another inhale. Exhale, keeping the knees bent, come into forward fold. Hands can come to the blocks or the ground here. Inhale, halfway, palms come to the shins, lengthen the spine, draw the shoulders away from the ears. Take another inhale. Exhale, bend your knees and fold forward. Sweep the arms off to the sides of the body, up to the sky. Keep the arms up overhead as you exhale, coming back into the chair. Take the glutes past the heels. Keep the back strong. Take another inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come up halfway. Palms to the shins. Long spine. Exhale, bend the knees. Fold forward. Inhale, reach your arms out and up. Last time, chair pose. Arms stay straight overhead. Bend the knees, weighted towards the heels. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse one back. Reach your arms out and up. Exhale, draw your hands back to your heart. We're going to go a little deeper into the, our shoulder stretch here. So if you're close to a wall, if not, come to step over to the wall. Bring the right hip to be parallel with the wall here. And then just judging how far away you need to be. So bringing the arms straight out from you. Make sure that the shoulder's in line with the wrist and you have a slight bend to your right elbow. Left hand comes to your hip and you're going to start to rotate the left toe out and the left hip, lifting up nice and tall and drawing that back right shoulder back and starting to feel a stretch more in the right pectoralis and the deltoid. So you have the option to stay right here. Start to work the fingertips back a little bit more. However that feels in the body, but don't go too far. If you start to feel any pulling, just turn the toes back in towards the wall and make that stretch a little less intense. This is a really good stretch to do in the middle of a work day. If you've been at your computer all day, keep the tailbone tucked under slightly. Take another deep breath in. And exhale, start to pivot from the hip first, and then just release the right arm down. And maybe just bring the arms out side to side and just shake the arms out. We're going to take that on to the opposite side. So now we're going to bring our left hip parallel to the wall. Extend your arm out and see where that lies. So the shoulder in line with the wrist, right hand to the hip, and then start to turn the right toes away from the wall, hip bone to follow. Tucking under the tailbone, keeping the spine stacked. Keeping your gaze and your jaw soft. And if you like, you can work the left fingertips back just a little bit more. But again, being mindful, tuning in. If there's any kind of burning or pulling, just come back a little bit. One more full breath. Slightly bend the knees, turn the toes back in, and release that left arm. And we'll shake it out once again, so just bringing the arms out to the sides and shaking side to side, bringing a little bit of circulation back to the arms and fingers. We're going to keep our feet out wide, just as wide as comfortable for you for a wide leg forward fold. The inside arches of the feet are parallel and the toes are straight ahead. If you need a block, grab that now. Just place that right in between the feet. Hands come to your hips as you inhale, lengthen up through the spine. And exhale, fold forward, placing the right hand down on the ground, left hand to the hip. If that feels comfortable, spin the left fingertips up towards the sky. One more inhale. Exhale, place your left hand down to the ground. You can place the right hand to the hip and just stay here. If you like, spinning the right fingertips up towards the sky. Again, the right back of the shoulder is engaged, drawing towards the midline of the body. One more inhale. Exhale, place both hands down to the ground. Bend into your knees, hands to your hips as you inhale, come all the way back up. We'll come 
into a warrior two. So pivot your right toes forward, bend into the right knee. Make any adjustments needed with the left foot as you scoot it back. Crack your right knee right over the ankle. Open the arms out. Reaching the fingertips in opposite directions of each other. Taking just a couple breaths here as you inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten your right leg. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Hold one more breath. On your next inhale, hands to your hips, straighten your right leg. And turn your toes in for that wide leg forward fold. So take a shorter stance if needed here. This time you can either bring your hands down to the ground or if that feels good, interlace your hands behind the back. Draw the shoulder blades together. Feel the openness of the heart center as you take a deep breath in. As you exhale, slight bend to the knees and fold forward. If at any point this is a little much in the upper back, or even the front of the shoulders, just go ahead and bring your hands back down to the ground. One more full breath in. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale to slowly come all the way back up. Maybe bring the arms out and just give those a shake. We'll come into warrior two on the opposite side. So turning the left toes out, bend to the left knee. Keep that right leg straight, the inner thigh working here. Tracking the knee right over the ankle and reach the arms out. Take an inhale, straighten your left leg. Exhale to bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. And just pause here, one breath cycle. As you inhale, hands to the hips, straighten the leg, and turn the left toe in. We'll just heel toe the feet in together to touch, and come to stand at the top of your mat. Place your hands at your heart, inhale, reach the arms out and up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, palms to the shin. Exhale as you fold, plant your palms, gently come down to the knees. We're going to come into a bridge pose, so swinging onto one side of the hip, bring the feet out in front, and make sure that you have your blocks and your strap close to you. Bring your feet hip distance apart, hold onto the backs of your hamstrings, Slightly tuck the chin in and roll all the way down to your back. Taking a moment here to set up for bridge pose. Make sure that when you're lifting the glutes off of the ground that the knees will be right over the ankles. Feet hip distance apart. Have your block handy if you need to slide that underneath the sacrum. Scoop under the tailbone so that the whole low back is flat onto the ground. And then as you inhale, start to send the hip bones up towards the ceiling, but keep that slight tuck of the tailbone. If you need to have your block here, this is a place to slide that right underneath the sacrum. Have a little bit of support here. If you like having the hands interlaced, start to work the shoulders underneath you and work the knuckles towards the backs of the heels. 
but keeping your gaze at the ceiling and keep breathing here. Neck is long, glutes and hamstrings active. We're having a little bit of that adductor where the inner thighs were working towards each other so that the knees stay stacked right underneath the hips. Take one more deep breath here. As you exhale, slowly lower all the way back down to the ground. Just giving yourself a little hug. Hug your knees in. Maybe just a little rock from side to side. the little legs up the wall. Let's go ahead and bring the feet all the way back down. This time sliding the block back underneath the sacrum. So lifting the hips up, slide that block there. And then we'll go one leg at a time. Have your strap in case you need that for your feet. Just have that on you. Hug your right knee into the midline of the body. Just taking your time here. And then slowly hugging the left knee into the midline of the body. And then one leg at a time, you can even hold on to the back of the hamstring, straighten the right leg up towards the ceiling. And go ahead and bring the left leg up towards the ceiling. So if you feel more comfortable, you can re-bend and place the strap onto the arches of the feet. Now you have just a little bit of control having the legs straight up. So this is good if you've been standing all day or even sitting at a chair when the circulation has gone all the way down into the feet, maybe cooling some of the blood. This is great to reverse that flow and just any swelling that you may have in your feet. This is a great way to alleviate that. To notice how you feel here, if the heart rate has settled down. Having the legs up gives you a bit of a calming sensation. So just taking a few more breaths here. Just embracing that calm. Take one more full breath. We'll gently come out the way we went in, so just bending one knee at a time in towards the midline of the body. And then just gently lowering one foot at a time. We'll go ahead and take the block out from underneath gently come all the way back down. This time we'll just do one leg at a time. So hug your right knee into the midline of the body. Placing the strap onto the arch of the right foot. Now sending the right leg straight. So we're really concentrating on stretching this right hamstring. You can point the toes in the direction of your shin. Slider deep bend to the right knee. If you like this variation, you can also take the right leg out to the right side of the body and just see if you can open that flexor out to the side. And 
take one more deep breath in. Exhale to bend your right knee, crossing over the left side of the body. So from here, slide the left heel so the left leg is straight. And the right knee comes over the left side of the body. If you have your strap, you can always straighten that right leg, flexing the toes in. And if you feel that really deeply on the outside of the right thigh, just go ahead and re-bend the knee back in. If you like, you can open that right arm out. One more inhale. Exhale to hug in the right knee. Come all the way to the back. And bringing the left sole of the foot on the ground into a supine pigeon. So turning from the right hip, take the right foot to the left thigh. You can just stay right here, flexing the toes towards the shin. Right hand can come to the right thigh. And just help open up this stretch. Or option to take the left foot off of the ground and place the hands behind the hamstring. Making sure the left toes are flexing towards the shin. If you even like to straighten that left leg. bending the left knee, bring the foot all the way down into the mat. Gently hug your right knee back in. And gently place the right foot to the ground. Hug your left knee into the middle of the body. Use your strap for the arch of the foot. And then really gently straighten the left leg. Your leg may not be all the way straight, you may have a really deep bend to the knee, just depending on how your hamstrings feel today. If you like the variation, you can take that left leg out to the left side of the body, nice and gently. Take one more inhale. straighten the leg. Maybe that feels good to open that left arm out. Following the gaze gently with the neck. Rotating from the left hip, place the left thigh, left foot onto the right thigh, flexing the toes in towards the shin. 
If you're comfortable, stay right here. Maybe taking the left hand to the thigh. The option to interlace the hands behind the right thigh. Flexing the right toes in. And option to straighten that right leg. One more deep breath in. Exhale, bend your right knee. Gently place the right foot down. Tuck your left knee in. And then gently place it down. Keep the feet out just a little bit wider than hip width. And we'll do some windshield wipers with the knees. So starting to draw the knees over towards the right side of the body and down. Windshield wiper over towards the left. A couple times back and forth as that feels good at your pace. back to neutral. Extend both legs straight out and reach your arms up overhead. You're going to create a crescent moon shape with the body. So starting to reach those fingertips over towards the right. You're going to start at the upper part of the body here. And then starting to work the right heel and the left so that you're Finishing the bottom crescent of the moon here. Make sure that your whole back ankles stay on the ground here. And an option to take the left hand on top of the right. Maybe left foot crosses over the right ankle. And just starting to feel that openness in the left lateral side of the body. Feeling that stretch in the outside of the left hip. You feel really good if you can track these hip flexors all day. One more inhale. Gently uncrossing and coming to the opposite on your exhale. So starting with that crescent moon up at the upper body. So left hand. Comes over towards the left, right arm can just stay right overhead and maybe just slightly over towards the left. And start to work the left heel in and then the right. You may just stay right here. This may be a deep enough stretch. You might want to take the right foot to cross over the left. Maybe the right hand on top of the left. Keeping both arms straight. See if you can keep the right glute and shoulder on the ground. Take another deep breath in. As you exhale, come back to neutral. Bend both knees, hug them into the midline of the body. And take a spinal twist over towards the right. So shift your hips over towards the left edge of the mat. Knees will come up and over towards the right and all the way down to the ground. And give yourself a big hug with your left arm. If that feels good, open the left arm out like a big T, just allowing that left shoulder to draw back and down.
Take another full breath in. Exhale, hug your knees in. Shift your hips over towards the right edge of your mat. Knees up and over towards the left. Either big hug with the right arm or opening the right arm out. Gently looking towards the right. Letting the back of the right shoulder soften down. Take an inhale, hug your knees back into the middle of the body. Center yourself back onto your mat. You'll send the soles of your feet down to the ground. And then slide the legs all the way out. And take any adjustments needed to come into your most comfortable final relaxation pose. So you can take that blanket underneath the cervical portion of your neck lumbar, or maybe even underneath the knees. Taking any final movements to become perfectly comfortable. And starting to relax the space between the eyebrows. Relax down your jaw. Soften the tops of the collarbones. Relax your right shoulder, right arm, right hand. Relax your left shoulder, left arm, left hand. Relax your upper back, middle of the back, low back. Soften the stomach muscles, breathing gently and freely here. Soften the hips. Right glute, right leg, right hip. Soften the left glute, left leg, left hip. Begin to relax your whole
to deepen your breath and you move into your fingers and toes. Gently reach your arms to the head for a stretch. Playing around your wrists and ankles. your knees into the middle of your body. And slowly come to one side in a fetal position. When you're ready, slowly coming to a seated position. Deep breath in, full breath out. Thank you so much for coming to class today. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.